morning, buenos dias from Sayulita, Mexico. We're on the west coast of Mexico in this very laid back beach town. It looks like a gorgeous day as per usual here. Every day is paradise. So we're going to walk around the town and take you with us. This is the central plaza in Sayulita and on one side of the plaza you can see the local church, this beautiful white church. And I love a good origin story and this church has a great one. The original church here was built with a palapa, so it's built with the palm leaves. And then two neighbors were talking one day and the one said to the other, look, the day that you get married, my friend, that's the day that I will build you a church to have your wedding in. Never ever thinking that this guy would bring back a fiance. So the story goes that the day that he brought his neighbor's fiance and said, hey, we're getting married married, that is the exact day that they began construction on this church and they were the first couple to ever be married here. So it's a really nice story, it's a lovely church and the papal picket out above is white which makes it stand out against all these colors. This church is so cute and being in here I keep thinking of those two neighbors. One, the guy who was the first to get married here, lucky him. And two, his neighbor who was like, oh my god, I have to build a church now? I don't know if you guys can see this, but those are pigeons sitting up by the coconuts in the palm tree. I don't know about you guys, but where I'm from, pigeons do not live in palm trees. The pigeons are in paradise too here. This is by far the best place to show you the defining feature of Sayulita, the flags above me. In Spanish these are called papel picado, they're very, very traditional. Normally they're made with tissue paper by making little cutouts. These of course live outside, so they're made of plastic. And this is a street where you see tons of people taking a selfie so that everyone knows you're in Sayulita. There are two streets that you'll want to know about in Sayulita. The first is called Revolucion. It's the main street. It goes from one end of town to the other. This is called Delphine. It has all the beautiful flags behind me. And it's more affectionately known around here as Slap Street because uh, the story goes that a while ago there were a couple of guys from town who were discussing whether they should change the street up a little bit, make it a little bit different. And they were both very foolish and got heated and so one of them slapped the other one. And now it's called Slap Street. But whatever the name is, it's one you want to find because it leads you right down to the beach. Colorful flags above, delicious places to eat on either side, palm trees, and the beach right in front of me. That's how you know you're in Sayulita. There's a time limit on how long you should go without tacos when you're in Mexico, at least that's how we feel. So we're here at Nettie's Cocina to get some tacos. We got two kinds. This is the bean and cheese, and then I went up and added some cabbage, some avocado sauce, some red onion, and then I've heard the chicken mole here is really good. So Mark and I each got a chicken mole, and I got my go-to horchata, and Mark is changing things up today. Oh yeah. Some hibiscus drink. Yeah, jamaica. I might have to have a sip of, oh, jamaica. Yeah. Fun to say, fun to drink. Exactly. <laughs> ingredients and that lime that lime man does it every time mm, so creamy and sweet I don't think I've ever really liked mole before but this changes everything mm. I agree it's really good mm. you'll notice when you're walking around Sayulita is that the main form of transportation seems to be the golf cart. Sometimes some very blinged out golf carts, I might add. You also see ATVs and people on motorbikes and scooters, and if you're really lucky, an old Volkswagen bus. Right along 
along the river, you'll find the hippie market where there's a whole bunch of stalls. People are selling things like pom-poms and little dolls, and I love the little mermaid <laughs> dolls especially. Little letters, keychains, Mexican blankets, and leather goods, and jewelry, all sorts of things. It's all handmade, local, and really something nice if you want to take home a little bit of sight. The Little Mermaid is having a real moment and I feel like you can't leave without a Serena Mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> of something you'll see all over Sayulita. They're made by the Wichal, which is the local indigenous group here. And it's a, I believe it's a symbol of protection. And you'll see them all over the place, little ones, big ones. And it feels like the whole town is kind of protected. Finishing off my hibiscus drink here, it's so hot. Of course, you can't come to Sayulita without going to the beach. This is a beach town after all. This is an absolute must. This is the main beach here in Sayulita, right at the end of Delphine. And you can see all sorts of people here enjoying the beach. They're swimming, they're surfing, people are bodyboarding, tanning, drinking, eating. It's just good vibes. area is great but it's a bit busy so if you want somewhere a little more chill a little less people there's another beach that's just about a 10 minute walk where we're heading now there's a little pathway here up from the main beach and I'm just passing under this little gate and there that's a little hint about the name of this smaller beach which is called Playa de los Muertos which means beach of the dead and uh, right in front of me actually I can see why it's named that way because right beside Playa de los Muertos is a cemetery, as you might expect. So that means we are not too far from the beach now. Wow, this is so cool. It's so cool. It's so quiet in here. And uh, I love looking around cemeteries. <laughs> Shall we take a peek? Mexico is such a colorful place and the cemeteries here are no exception. When you're walking around you see here we have the Papal Picado which is in the cemetery as well and it's just so beautiful and it feels very celebratory. It's not, it's not a place for sadness, it's a place to come and remember and to celebrate people that you love. Almost there, I see another sign. Man, I love these hand-painted signs like we're getting closer to the beach. We'd heard that the beach over here was a lot smaller and quieter, but I actually didn't expect it to be this small for this quiet half to admit. <laughs> this really delivers. Because the other beach is great, there's so much happening, but if you just want to kind of feel the zen, this is amazing. And it's roped off for swimming, which is nice. And then these gorgeous places on the hill over here. The rocks, like it just feels like paradise. Wow, it really is quiet here. See some of the fishing boats. It's nice they have the swimming area kind of roped off there. Girls playing with their dog, it's so cute. These toes need to touch the ocean. Oh, oh my god, that's so nice. So warm. <laughs> oh. It's time for us to put 
more than our toes in the water. We are definitely ready for a swim, right? Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> but I hope that you guys enjoyed this little tour around beautiful Sayulita, Mexico. I would love to hear what you thought, so leave a comment down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for lots more travel adventures. And we'll see you in our next video.